Hello Grade 7 learners, have a nice day. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about the language of algebra. After watching this video, you will be able to answer the following questions. First, how to determine constants and variables, literal coefficients and numerical coefficients, algebra expressions, terms and polynomials, and how to determine the number of terms, degree of term, and degree of the polynomial. Second, how to write polynomial in standard form. And the last is how to determine the type of polynomial according to its degree and according to the number of terms. Now we're going to define different terms that you will encounter as you go on with your study in algebra. First term, constants. Constants are numbers that have fixed values. It is usually referred to as the term without a variable. A numeral is a constant such as 7, 4, negative 20, and 11. Always remember when we are talking about constants, they are number alone without a variable. Next, variable. Variable is a symbol or letter in the alphabet that may take one or more than one value from a given replacement set. Variable represents an unknown value or number. It is written in small letter. And the following are the most common symbol used for variables. X, Y, Z, A, B. Always remember, variables are letters in the alphabet from A to Z. Next term. Term is a constant or a variable or constants and variables multiplied together. And terms are separated by plus or minus sign. Example we have here 7 y or 3xy. Example of term. Once we're going to write this one, see if we have 1, 7, plus y, minus 3xy, then we have how many terms? We have 3 terms. 7 is the first term, y is second term, and negative 3xy is the third term. In a term, the number part is called the numerical, numerical coefficient, while the variable or variables including its exponents are called literal coefficients. Example, in 5ab square, 5 here is what we call the numerical coefficient, while ab square is the literal coefficient. That's the difference between numerical and literal coefficient. Next, about algebra expression, it is a group of terms separated by the plus or minus sign. Similar terms or like terms, these are terms with the same literal coefficients. Examples, negative 4y squared and 7y squared are Similar terms, they have the same literal coefficient, which is y square. Another example, 2ab and 3ab, they are similar terms. They have the same literal coefficient, ab. Not similar terms, just like this one, 5y cubed and 10y. Of course, they have different literal coefficient. Here, y cubed, and in here, we have y. Also, 5a and 7b, they are not similar because they have different literal coefficient. Now, about polynomial. Polynomial is an algebraic expression where each term is a constant, a variable, or a product of constant and a variable. Each variable should only have an exponent that is a non-negative integer, meaning to say positive integer only. An algebraic expression is not a polynomial if, first, the exponent of the variable is negative integer, 
because for a polynomial, we can only have positive integer. Second, the exponent of the variable is a fraction or a decimal. Okay? You cannot have a fraction or a decimal and many more when we are dealing with polynomial. Third, the variable is inside the radical sign. So if the variable is inside the radical sign, that is not a polynomial. Example, we have here 2 square root of x. This is not a polynomial because the variable is inside the radical sign. Fourth, the variable is in the denominator. Example, we have 3 over y. Okay, this one is not a polynomial because the denominator has variable. Another term that we need to understand is about degree. Degree is the highest exponent or the highest sum of exponents of the variables in a term. Now let's have an example of a polynomial and we're going to determine the degree. Number one, 2xy cubed. This is only one term. If the given polynomial is only a monomial, you have to add the exponents of all the variables. x has an exponent of 1. Though you are not able to see 1, but it's already understood that a variable has an exponent of 1. So, 1 plus 3, that is equal to 4. Therefore, the degree of 2x y cubed is equal to 4. Another example, number 2, 4x cubed minus 4x squared plus x minus 10. This is polynomial. If we have this, we are not going to add all the exponents of the variables. But we have only to consider the exponent of a term with the highest value. So let's check. 4x cubed has a degree of 3. Okay, where did we get 3? Exponent 4x cubed has an exponent of 3 in our variable. Here we have 2. And x has a degree or exponent of 1. And of course, 10 has a degree of 0. Now we are going to consider only the degree of the highest, the highest term. So the highest degree here is 3. That is our degree of this given polynomial, 3. Again, do not add 3, 2, and 1. Because this polynomial is not monomial. You will add only the exponents of all the variables if the given is monomial, just like number 1. But if it is binomial, or it has two terms or more, just consider only the degree of the highest term. Okay? So therefore, our degree here is 3. And last, example number 3, 5. Of course, the degree of a constant is always 0. Next, we'll be dealing with types of polynomials according to the number of terms. According to the number of terms, we have here monomial. Monomial from the word mono, meaning only one. So monomial is a polynomial with only one term. Okay, just like this one. 6xy, negative 3ab squared, c cubed. Consists only of one term. Another type of polynomial is binomial from the word 
by okay meaning two so it consists of two terms so we have here 10 a b plus 6 a remember the term is being separated by plus or minus sign another example we have here 2 a minus b third, third type trinomial trinomial is a polynomial with three terms example 4x squared minus 3x plus 1 so we have here three terms first second and third another example y cubed plus 5y minus 15 we also have three terms next polynomial polynomial if it consists of four or more terms okay example 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 7x plus 12 Another example, x to the power of 5 plus 3x to the power of 4 plus x cubed minus 7x squared plus 4. Okay, so they are called polynomial. Another type of polynomial, according to its degree, are the following. First, constant. A polynomial of degree 0 example 5 and negative 3 constant polynomial according to the degree next linear a polynomial of degree 1 okay example 3x plus 5 the degree of this is 1 that is the exponent of x next y minus 4 the degree here is also 1 the exponent of y third type quadratic a polynomial of degree 2 example 4x squared minus 3x plus 5 the degree of this is 2 another example x squared minus 4 the degree of this is also 2 these are examples of quadratic fourth cubic a polynomial of degree 3 example y cubed plus 5y minus 15 the degree of this polynomial is 3. Another example, y cubed minus 1. It has also a degree of 3. Next, quartic, a polynomial of degree 4. Example, 3x to the power of 4 minus x cubed plus 7x squared minus 4. The degree of this polynomial is 4. Another example a to y to the power of 4 it has also a degree of 4 next quintic a polynomial of degree 5 example x to the power of 5 plus 2x squared minus 1 another example 6x to the power of 5 the two polynomials have a degree of 5 Next, standard form of polynomial. When can we say that a polynomial is already in standard form? Remember, the terms of a polynomial are arranged in descending order from the term with the highest degree up to the term with the lowest degree. Another term, the leading term, the first term of the polynomial written in standard form. Next, the leading coefficient. The numerical coefficient of the leading term if the polynomial is written in standard form. Now, let's have an example of a polynomial. If you have observed, the given polynomial is not yet in standard form. Now, how are we going to write this one in standard form? Okay. Accordingly, we have to arrange the term starting with the highest degree. Now, we have to determine the degree of its term. The degree of 5x is 1, the exponent of x. Here, the degree of 4x cubed is 3. That is the exponent of x cubed. Of course, negative 6 has a degree of 0, while 2x squared has a degree of 2, the exponent of x squared. So, if you have observed, a term with the highest degree is 4x cubed. So 4x cubed will be the first term. Okay, we have here 
4x cubed. Next is 2x squared. Do not forget to copy the sign. But if it is positive, just like 4x cubed and it is written in the first term, do not write anymore the plus sign. But if it is negative, you have to write the negative sign. Next, plus 2x squared. Followed by 5x. And last is negative 6. So we have now standard form. Now we have to determine the leading term. So the leading term is actually coming from the first term in the standard form of a given polynomial. So 4x cubed, this is the first term. Once the polynomial is already in standard form. Okay, it's coming from here. First term in standard form. Next, we have to determine the leading coefficient. Okay, talking about the leading coefficient, this is actually the numerical coefficient of the leading term. Okay, that's why we have here 4. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Kindly like, and if you have questions regarding the video, just comment it in the comment box. Kindly share it to other students for them to learn or master the lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications. Before I end, let me share to you one of the verses from the Bible. If you love me, keep my commandments. John 14, 15. That's all for today and God bless you all.